don't know who did this to her, but that, that, this is not good. You hit somebody. You don't know if they hit her in the mouth or anything. Yeah, I, I don't know if she stabbed, shot, I don't know, but she hit this blood everywhere. I've never seen this much blood. When this initially happened, I, you know, I, we thought someone would be arrested in a few days. Hey everyone, Ed here from Graveyard Excursions. And today I'm in Cleveland, Ohio at 75 Airy View Plaza. And this location is where Eliza Sherman was stabbed 11 times by a hooded assailant. And she was on her way to visit with her divorce attorney on that fateful day. It was at five o'clock in the afternoon. And a Saturday afternoon in broad daylight on a, on a March, cold March 23rd day, 2013, it even got colder. This uh, hooded attacker was spotted running along this route over here and through that way. And to this day, 11 years later, that person still has not been identified. It's crazy to think that with everything that, uh, you know, with uh, the, the video coverage, because you could see the camera over there that caught the person on camera running that way. And then there's also a, a video of the person running that way. And people have diagnosed that picture and they can't figure out if it was, they, a lot of people actually believe it was a woman by the stature and the way the person was running. They actually think that it may have been a woman that did the deed here. And it's a horrific crime against a person that was so well loved. She worked as a, a nurse at the Cleveland Clinic and she always put her patients ahead of everyone else. And her family to this day has still not been able to get closure on this horrific crime. And I'm gonna put a link to um, a phone number that you could call if you have any information leading to the arrest of whoever caused this, whoever did this, this horrific thing. Any tip would be helpful. Uh, there are so many loose ends to this case, including um, Dr. Sanford Sherman, who just passed away. That's kind of like what triggered my investigation into this more than anything else, because when he died, it pretty much closed a whole nother chapter on this, on this crime, because she was the one that wanted to um, divorce him. He was doing some shady things that none of it could have been proven, though, because, you know, he has yet to even speak to the police. Uh, and now that he's dead, he definitely took whatever secrets he had to the grave. All right, this is the grave of Eliza Sherman. And um, what can I say? But... You know, justice has not been served. She is here and somewhere out there, the person that perpetrated her murder is still free. And, you know, the police were never able to question or detain her um, estranged husband, Sanford Sherman. And he, he just recently passed away. He retained an attorney, so he would never, and his attorney you know, basically told them, don't talk to the police. They don't have no no uh, solid evidence to link him to the murder. And um, just so many things are wrong with this case. When you look at when she was there at that office on that day when she was murdered in Cleveland, she was supposed to meet her attorney. Guess what? The attorney wasn't even there. You know, she was there and her and her attorney, she ended up getting murdered. It, it just, there was, there was a, you know, litigation in regards to that. Um, so many unanswered questions. The police have no solid leads. I'll put a link to uh, a fo their phone number if anyone out there knows anything about how Aliza Sherman ended up here. Her family would love to get closure on this issue. It's a heartbreaking story, a person so good and loved by so many, a, a nurse at the clinic, um, always put everyone ahead of herself. 
and you know it just it it's hard but anyway thank you all for uh, joining me today at this video graveyard excursions you know what like I said if you anyone out there knows anything about what how this happened you know you don't have, it could be confidential you could leave a tip on their uh, crime stopper hotline or whatever and maybe the police could find an answer to this unanswered this this crime that's been going on for more than 11 years now so anyway thank you all for joining me see you in the next video bye